Welcome to the Dream Golf Channel and today we're going to do the do-it-yourself golf control box. As you can see here we have some of our components that we're going to be using. This is the enclosure. It's the, it's the, the control box that we're going to put all the buttons and put the uh, control board, the PC board inside. Uh, you can get these off Amazon. I'll try and put a link in the descriptions below. We also have a wire cable gland. This is where the USB cable comes out of the box. And then over here we have our USB extension cable, 15 foot cable. Next up we have our PCB controller board. This is um, the Ultimark Mini Pack, which takes all the signals from the buttons and is able to convert it over to keyboard signals over in my laptop. It's the, really the brains of the whole operation. Before we start to um, put the buttons in, we gotta lay everything out. And so I've gone and laid my buttons out on the control board. Uh, in the end, I ended up having uh, eight of these, but initially I started out with seven. So I laid them out on the control board, uh, marked them all out, made sure they're all in line. So I have a, um, you know, a square to make sure everything is straight and in line because you don't want it to look like you just eyeballed everything. There's a little bit of eyeballing, you can't tell, but uh, you really need to get a, a good straight edge uh, and make sure everything is angled right to each other so it looks somewhat professional. And next we go ahead and we drill the holes. Uh, for this I used a step bit. Step bits are great because it gives you a variety of different hole diameters depending on how deep the bit goes. And for this, uh, as you can see me drilling here, I'm able to get all the holes the right diameter. And next we're going to open up the panel and uh, mount our, our mini pack, our control board. Uh, this is, like I had mentioned in the beginning of the video, this is how you uh, manage all your inputs and are able to have it all come out in one single output cable, a USB cable that goes into your computer. Uh, for this you just got to make sure that it doesn't reside right underneath any of the buttons and uh, and you want to make sure that uh, it's it's sort of close to where you're going to want to pull the cable out of the side. So some thought uh, needs to come in here where you don't want things to be all cluttered in the same area. A little bit of cable management goes a long way in the end so you don't have things touching each other, potentially uh, impacting signals from each other. And next up we go ahead and drill our hole for our USB cable to go through and uh, to be able to mount the cable gland. And then next up we're going to connect our wiring to all of our buttons. Uh, first we're going to start off on our, um, on our circuit board, on our control board, and then we're going to run those to each of the buttons. So uh, what happens here is you have one wire that goes to the button. Uh, each of the buttons and then you have uh, a daisy chain of wires that are connected to each of the buttons to a common ground on the circuit board and um, there's a diagram that comes with this particular board uh, that's from Ultimark this mini uh, pack uh, circuit board and you just need to follow those directions uh, if, if, if folks want me to do a more detailed look into how to wire this up I can go ahead and get another video going if you don't mind putting that in the comments if that's what you'd like to see uh, but for right now I would think that um, or I'm hoping that the audience would be able to uh, wire this up on your own and last item before we go to the computer we'll go ahead and wire it up with our USB power cable and pull it through uh, the gland uh, the end connection so uh, it's a nice nice clean exit out of the enclosure box all right now we've got it all set up powered up to the computer through USB and now we're going to program it through the uh, Ultimarks uh, software uh, you can download this from their website uh, and you can program each of the connections on the board to what you want the keyboard stroke to be so each of these buttons can be programmed through this software to replicate a keystroke on your keyboard. In other words, one button can be left, one button can be right, one button can be Q, 
one button can be Z or X. This can all be done through the software, which is really, really neat. And now we're going to try it out. So now we've got TGC 2019 up and running. We're going to go over to our control box and test out the right arrow, which works. And then the left arrow, I'm sorry, enter. All right, now that we're on our driving range, we'll test the buttons. Club down, works. Club up, works great. Let's down again, works good. Get it down to the eight iron. And then we're going to check out the Q, which great is great. That's the scouting view. And then we're gonna go right. And then we'll do left, works excellent. And then we'll go into escape, which is the menu. We'll do the down arrow. Go back and enter is my last button. And it all works. It works great. Now we're gonna just hit a ball and uh, get ready for a round of golf with my new control box. Hopefully everybody enjoyed the video. Um, if you need any more details on this, I think it's fairly self-explanatory and if you're if you're handy at all this shouldn't be very difficult but if you have any questions regarding the equipment and how to wire it up uh, please let me know I'm, I'll be more than happy to uh, email you um, or I can make another video on the details of wiring it up but I want to appreciate uh, let everybody know I appreciate you guys uh, subscribing and watching our videos and if you have any suggestions or recommendations please reach out to us and let us know and hopefully you like this video and uh, continue to watch take care and have a great weekend